Uh, okay, where's, where's the break? Here you go, it's all yours. Good morning and welcome. It's really nice to see a nice turnout here today to honor these um, veterans. We are members of the Material Girls Quilting Club of Wisconsin Rapids. We are a group of over 100 members that meet once a month. Along with the Quilts of Valor project, we also make quilts for the palliative care unit at um, uh, Riverview Hospital and Christmas stockings for nursing homes and other charities. Simply put, Quilt of Valor's mission is to cover service members and veterans touched by war with comforting and healing quilts of valor. In 2003, Catherine Roberts, a Blue Star mom, had a dream. Literally, when her eldest son was deployed to Iraq, her dream was as vivid as real life. She saw a young man sitting on the side of the bed hunched over. It was the middle of the night. The permeating feeling was one of utter despair. It was as if Catherine could see his war demons clustered around him, dragging him down into an emotional gutter. Then, as if viewing the movie, the next scene was totally transformational for her. And he was wrapped in a quilt. His whole demeanor changed from one of despair to one of hope and well-being. The Quilts of Valor Foundation began in 2003 and is located in every state of the Union, Canada, the United Kingdom, and Australia. It took three years for them to award the first 100 quilts. On their 10-year anniversary, 86,812 quilts have been awarded by the Foundation. To date, there have been more than 226,142 quilts awarded. Multiply that out by an average value of $250 per quilt. This amounts to over $56 million. Our group um, here in Wisconsin Rapids started making quilts of valor in 2016. Not counting today's quilts, we have awarded 137 quilts. A quilt of valor is not a charity quilt or a blanket. It is a quilt consisting of three layers. The top of the quilt, with its many colors, shapes, and fabrics, represents the love and gratitude from the communities and the many individuals that we are. The batting is the center of the quilt. It's warm. It represents the hope that this quilt will bring warmth, comfort, peace, and healing to the individual who receives it. The back is the strength. It holds the many pieces of the quilt together. It represents the strength of the recipient, their family, our communities, and our nation. A quilt of valor is priceless. It can never be bought. It can never be sold or wrapped. It is not a birthday or Christmas gift. It is given freely from the hands and hearts of the makers and their community. A quilt of valor is a thank you from all of us for your sacrifice and service. We would like to thank the Cotton Thimble for financial support and giving us a place to gather and work on these quilts. Special thanks also to Heroes Cafe and the UPS store for their donations and continued support. We're humbled to stand before you. You have served our country, performed your duties, and fought for the freedoms we all appreciate today. We are eternally grateful to each of you, and thank you for your service. Today is our honor to award the following individuals with their personal quote of valor. Let's start by reading the certificate that will be provided. On behalf of the Quilts of Valor Foundation, in recognition of your service and sacrifice for this nation, it is a privilege to honor and comfort you through the award of this quilt of valor. Though we may never know the depth of your sacrifice to protect and defend the United States of America, as a gesture of gratitude from a grateful nation, we award you this quilt of valor. As I read your name, please go to the X on the um, center of the stage so that you may be wrapped in your own quilt of valor. Paul Bedford. Why 
Paul served in the Navy from 1961 to 1966. He served on board the USS Midway for active duty and also served in the active reserve from 74 to 1980.
Allen served in the Army from 1964 to 1970. He served with the 32nd Infantry Division Marshfield Unit. Basic training was at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and infantry school was at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. He was activated for 1967 um, rides in Milwaukee. Ken served in the Army from October 1972 until October 75. He served in Korea from August of 74 until October of 75 with the 2nd Infantry Division, Battery A of the 115th Field Artillery. He helped set up artillery at the DMZ. Kristen served in the Navy from 1999 to 2003. She served aboard the USS Essex and the USS Bello Wood as a Petty Officer Third Class. Gary Kruger. Gary served in the Army from 1958 to 61. He served as a mechanic and drove a tank retriever in the 3rd Armor, 50th Infantry, served in Germany from 58 to 60. Leverance. Ronald served in the Air Force from July of 68 until April of 72. He served in country Vietnam from 71 to 72 with the 9th Special Operations Squadron. Michael Lautner. Michael was a Marine from September 6th of 66 until September 7th of 68. He served in Vietnam from February of 67 until March of 68 with the 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines, 1st Marine Division. Gregory Regalia. Gregory served with the Army from 1971 to 74. He served active, active duty with HHG 5th Artillery Group, SASCOM, the Special Ammunition Support Command in Germany. He received a SASCOM Letter of Achievement Award. Jerry Swim. Jerry served with the Navy from 1962 to 66. He served aboard the USS Hector at Long Beach, California in 62 to 64, and aboard the USS Castor at Sasebo, or Sasebo Japan in 65 and 66. Robert Feeble. <laughs> Robert served in the Navy from 65 to 69 at Naval Support Activity Supply Depot, Da Nang, Republic of Vietnam from 68 
Mitchell Wade. Mitchell served in the Army and the Marines from 75 to 2017. He served a total of 42 years, 13 active duty, <clears throat> served 14 years enlisted, attended OCS at the Wisconsin Military Academy, retired as a colonel in May of 2017. So uh, each one of the recipients then, is, well, let's have one final row, um, uh, round of applause for everybody. <laughs> and then we'd like you to exit over here to the left, and we're going to have your pictures taken um, individually. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, I ordered 34, 24 dozen donuts for today. So I expect everybody to have two or three donuts, please. We got a whole bunch of donuts left. We got lots of coffee left. Just because this is over doesn't mean you have to leave. So we're open here till 10 o'clock. You can sit around. I see a bunch of firemen here. That's good. I, I got donuts. I got coffee. So help yourself, please. Stick around. So don't get your pictures taken. Shoot the breeze. And have a good time. Congratulations, guys.